Hello, once again, I am Fuse from Exile. This is Attacks in Exile, and today I have for you a war recap against the clan Todos Unidos. I'm going to get us started with one of my own attacks against the number one in this clan. I'm going to go into this very rushed base with a flood of witches. Now, I tried to drop a poison spell on the troops, but I missed the balloons. Uh, then I corrected in the wrong direction. Then I finally pulled them back into the poison by dropping an archer on the other side there for them to go into it. But I didn't take them out of the sky. Of course you want to get them out of the sky because they could be devastating to witches. Now my original plan was to drop an archer on the left, pull the clan castle troops over there and attack from that side. But as soon as I dropped the archer it was shot down by the archer tower over there. And I realized at this moment that I did not have the time nor the troops to pull the dragon and the balloons over to that side. So I took a moment here to improvise, to come up with a quick on-the-fly plan, and I just decided, you know what, to heck with it, I'm going to hit from right here where they are. So I released the golem, let the dragon and the balloons lock onto it, and the wizards, they wiped them out. I'm going into the core with four earthquake spells, and they're going to go right on in. The heroes leading the way to check for traps, the witches shortly behind them, and nothing is going to stop them. have underestimated this base a little bit the town hall went down pretty easily but uh, I struggled to get the 50% here I almost didn't make it if not for those last few archers that I held on to just in case I needed them. luckily there are a couple of structures down at the south that are just outside the reach of the archer towers above them and that will get me over the 50% mark Here's another one of my attacks. This one is a five golem go whiz. I open up the second and third layer of walls with an earthquake spell. I'm gonna break open the top and the golems are gonna naturally follow that line of defenses right to the town hall. Uh, you've got the archer tower to the cannon, to the air defense, to the mortar, to the air sweeper, to the inferno and, and crossbows. There's nothing distracting them to make them go into either of the other two directions. This is actually a very, very poor base design uh, set up in this way. I didn't have any problem at all breaching the core. The town hall is about to go down. 50% is not far away. design of the walls that's a pretty popular design but most of these bases don't create a line going straight into the core with the with defenses and there's the second star the base design made this one pretty easy for me thanks a lot to you angelito next up is kirk He's been experimenting lately with eight earthquake spells in some of his war attacks. He's going to try that in this one here too. Now he's going to drop the earthquake spells on the left and the right of the core, but he's going to enter in from the top. Personally, if I were dividing a base with the line going through horizontally, I would go in from the left or the right. He chooses to go in from the top. Let's see how that works out. All right, now Kirk is also using a flood on this attack. He's going to take down those walls in the center, open up the core, and the witches and their skellies are going to pour right in. Now, he didn't lure the clan castle. That's going to cost him quite a few of his troops, including a P.E.K.K.A. and several witches. That's why it's very important to lure the clan castle, of course, especially when you've got troops as fragile as witches in your raid. He 
never manages to kill the dragon. That's going to cost him a lot of his troops, and he just may have trouble finishing this one with two stars. Let's see how it ends up. just barely clutches the 50%. Kirk, nice effort. Personally, the changes I would make, lure the clan castle, and if you're gonna hit your earthquakes left and right, enter from the left or the right. Otherwise, great job saving the second star. Next up is Hard. He's going in on this Town Hall 10 with a Go Wiz, a five golem Go Wiz with a Hog Lure. As soon as he knows they're all out of the clan castle, he drops the poison right on top of them, right where they are, and this sometimes can save you a few extra seconds at the end of the raid that becomes very, very important for the attack. He's going to begin dropping his golems, allowing the dragon to lock onto one of them, and then he will take it out the rest of the way with wizards. With wall breakers, he opens multiple entry points in the outer wall, and he's going to use four earthquake spells to get into the core. With the core breached, and now frozen, he'll have no trouble getting his troops in to take out the town hall. Boom, town hall down, boom, 50%, both stars locked in tight, great job hard. Next up is Spaceball with a quad lava loon attack. This was a cleanup attack and he knew exactly what was in the clan castle. He uses his Barbarian King as a tank to absorb some of the defenses to help his balloons get through into the base. It's important to note that he goes in on the opposite side of the clan castle, but I'll come back to that in a moment. Notice how he goes in from behind the air sweepers. That's uh, really helpful in getting a three star on this style base. Now you may be wondering, why are there no clan castle troops in this attack? Well, this is a cleanup, and he knew that there were ground troops only in the clan castle. Now, while Valkyries may do very well on defense, they're not the best idea to have by themselves because they can't do anything about an air troop. And being that they won't defend against an air troop, they won't even come out of the clan castle. And that's why it was smart to start the Barbarian King on the other side of the base. Now, imagine if the Barbarian King would have triggered the clan castle and some Valkyries would have come out of it. Well, they couldn't do anything to the rest of his troops, but they could slow them down by distracting them. If a balloon is going after a Valkyrie instead of a builder's head that's off in the corner, that could be the difference between 99% and 100% on an attack. Spaceball, great job on this one. Next up is Tiny Tom hitting a fairly underdeveloped Town Hall 9 with a Go Wee Wee Wipe which is actually a very good choice of attack for this type of base. It has a lot of open space, which makes it a great candidate for a witch base attack. This is a cleanup attack, and he knew where some of those traps were, the skeleton traps, the bombs, as well as what's in the clan castle, and he chooses a very expensive lure, which is a golem in this case. He uses the golem to trip the giant bomb, the skeleton trap, and trigger the clan castle troops. And a poison spell, which he realistically drops a little bit late. He should have been a little bit faster on the poison spell, but it's gonna work out for him. He's got earthquakes to get into the core, Finally, after breaching the inner walls, some of the wizards, along with the Archer Queen, take down the dragon and the balloon. With the bulk of his troops still remaining alive, Tom has no problem mowing down the rest of the base. 
Tom only stayed with us for a few wars before leaving. I'm not sure why he left. Tom, we'd love to have you back again. But either way, nice job on this attack. All right, now it's Wolf with what I would call a go-ho wee-wee. <laughs> Golems, hogs, wizards, and witches. Of course, he starts off by luring and killing the clan castle troops, which in this case is a dragon and a balloon. He goes in on the left with the go wee wee and sends the hogs in from the top right clockwise around the base. Nice job, Wolf. Very cool attack. Now it's Rack's turn. He's going in on a Town Hall 9 with a Go Wee Wee. This is another one of those Night at the Roxbury bases. I really, really don't understand why people make them like this. He sends two armies around the base in opposite directions and a kill squad in toward the core. Very nicely done, Rack. Guys, build better bases. Or don't. Keep getting them three-starred. It's up to you, either way. Alright, that is going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.